apologize. Uh, all right, we've got new pairings are up. We are versing, oh wow, I'm not joking. I'm not joking, folks. We are versing, versing four color Snoko again. So hopefully we win this. We're versing four color Snoko again. Hopefully we can go good in this tournament. Another four color snow. Is it, we need like a snowco count, right? Snowco count is on two. <laughs> what do we verse first round? Uh, sh what was the first round again? I forgot. I mean, I don't mind snowco, man. It's a slow deck. And we are we are two zero. Wait, what do we verse in the first round? I forgot, I forgot. Anyways, it doesn't matter, I'll look at my replay later. But we have a Snoko round two, and this now Snoko again. So this deck looks... Wow, I'm not joking. It's identical. It's identical to the last game. Wow, it's... Wait, am I am I seeing this right? Let me just see this. I'll make sure it's not showing the last round. It's like snap identical. Nope, nope, it is. He's playing the exact identical 75. Except, he has... No, it's ident identical. Wow. That's kind of hilarious. I got here after the first round. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, he literally has the identical deck as last round. Okay. I guess, uh... Challenge this guy and play some magic. He's probably looking at my deck. Can you send the challenge? Yep. Done. All right, awesome. So we're versing Snoko again. That speaks to the volume of legacy. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Maybe if you guys are willing to like hang out here with the stream, let's put a Snoko count. Um, I'm gonna put here in the in the stream here. Let me just make a little text box here while the opponent is figuring out what they do. Snoko count. All right. Snoko count is on two. I think that's a bit too big for you folks there. Eh? <laughs> oh, where's my box gone? Oh, it's upside down now. Why is it upside down? There you go. <laughs> oh no, come back, come back. What are you doing? All right. All right, folks, we have a Snoko counter now. <laughs> oh, I mean, Yurion. I'm going to put another one here. Yurion count. Well, I, th I think I need to hurry up and play. Alright, so... We have a bunch of lands and a chalice, which is kind of nice. Actually, we have six lands <laughs> and a chalice. Um, I think this is bad. I think we need cloud posts. Uh, I think I'm gonna... M Let me put a text here. Another text. I'm just still thinking. Alright guys, can you guys see that? We have a Snoko count of two and a Yurion count of three. <laughs> In our three rounds. <laughs> this is ridiculous, folks. So much Yurion. Um, I mean, I'm playing Yurion as well. <laughs> um, just ridiculous. Alright, uh, I think we... Mm, as much as playing a bunch of lands and a chalice on... Do, do you think we keep this? But let's look at his deck list, right? Like, playing a chalice on two... A uh, chalice on one on turn two is kind of nice. We have a bunch of lands to, like, try to... Wow, he's playing... Okay, the only difference is he's playing Shark Typhoon. He's got the Cycling Shark. That's the only thing he's got different here. He's got Terminus? Actually, I think I'm going to keep this. I, this is, awkwardly enough, I think I'm going to keep this. I don't be like your cloud post, right? I'm going to keep this. He's, he's a slow deck, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And Ivugan destroys his um these mid uh, these mid range decks, right? Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, I have blast zone. I have Thespian stage to make it a zero counter blast zone to deal with the. The Snokos. Let's see what uh, Okos he's got. He's got three. It's the same list. So it's like two Teferis, one Narset, three Okos, Snakes, Oro, Snaps, 
a button growth for one counter spell, four force of wills, three force negations. Wow, there's a lot of counter spells. I'm glad the three main deck uh, defense grids are good. I hope my list like becomes a real deck. People are like, oh great, let's play this. Oh, defense grids, yes. All right, I don't think they play wastelands. Let's go there. No wastelands, but two mystic sanctuaries. Same as the last list. Okay. Um. I wonder if I hide the blast zone. Yeah, I'm gonna play Glimmer Post here. A sort of authority. Um, okay, so I wanna go turn two defense grid. I mean, the fact that you play planes means that he has to like do stuff for the astral I guess, but yeah. Is there a snake coming? I feel a snake's coming, yep. Defense grid, I'm gonna slam the defense grid before the chalice. I mean, I have two blast zones now. I actually have th two blast zones in my main because I hate Delver. Um, Okay, so gonna play stage here and just slam a. He's gonna play a snake. Watch, I'm gonna play defense grid. Watch, he's gonna play a snake in response or a brainstorm. Yeah, yeah, he's playing a snake. Look at his wing. Oh, look at the green. Whoa, what a chance! What, what a coincidence! Well, I hope this resolves. Right, if he wants to counter, this is fine. That means I get an open slot to counter a, a, a play a chalice of the void. All right, force negation, pitching, force negation. Okay, that's fine. That's two forces out of his hand. He's down to four cards now, right? That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, we'll play Chalice for one next turn. And we're on pass to activating Iron Mugen. <laughs> and we can eventually cast a Urion if we want to copy his island uh, planes. All right, we gained a life and we also lost a life. Astrolabe, wow. Wow. I can Blast Zone everything. I'm glad I didn't play out the Blast Zone. Okay, still slamming the chalice, alright? Rather resolves on oh, all this stuff is great. So I can kill these colored permanents. So gonna play not gonna play the buried ruins out because that means he like won't wanna counter the chalice. If he does counter the chalice, I can get it back with buried ruins. But right now I'm gonna go turn to Chalice of the Void. Alright, he's already <laughs> exiled the force negation, alright? And then turn three blast zone. I mean turn four blast zone, everything. Nice. If he Oko's it, fine, shut up. I just like, I can um, all his dust everything eventually. I oh, Vugan's gonna go for really far, basically acts as a soul land here. Attack for one, fine. You wanna Oko me? I don't know, we'll see. Four cards, four cards is good. Oh, he just ends, pass, all right, sweet. Cloud pose, okay. So, I think I blast zone here. Yeah, I'll blast lightning. Goodbye. He's probably got more snakes or something. I was gonna play the Thran Donimo then. Just to get bigger, because I can go into Eye of Ugin. But we'll do that next turn, that's fine. I mean, he can fetch as well. I don't know if he has... Does he have lands? Like Greenlands? I don't think he has Greenlands. Oh, he has two drops. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that was the wrong line there, folks. He's probably gonna grab a drop here. Yeah, he grabbed a drop. Yeah, he need he needs green. He's probably not a snake now. No, no, no more snakes. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the right line there. Astrolabe getting back. Force of negation. Let's just look at the game log for a quick second. Sure. What do you get back? Force negation is back on top. Okay, gotcha. Alright, he's casting Yuri on now. I assume. Nothing really costs 5 mana in his deck. That's fine. Kept on drawing 3 with Yuri on. Yep. Yeah, it's true. 100%. You're right. You're right. Drawing 3 cards with Yuri on is gross. You're right. You're right. Alright, I can think eventually I can try to win with this. If he wants to force negation the Thran, I don't think he can if you want, but then it opens up all his dust. Oh, okay. We have so many things. Okay. Oh, wait. Urion can also... I can bounce the Urion as well. With Caracas. Am I worried about pressure? That's the thing. No, I want to get Ivogon online. I think that's the most important. He won't, I don't think he'll counter the Thran Dynamo. I have another backup anyway. Most people don't counter Thran Dynamo's. He wants to force it. Oh, he, he wants to force it? Force a will. 
exiling the Snapcaster. All right, so I know he has a Force Negation on top. All right, so we have Thrawn, Dynamo, N.I. Vugan, and all his dust. So, bit of a few lines here. Wow, he's running out of cards. That's a good sign. All right, we'll yield here. Yeah, you're right. Dish yeah. So another line here is that once I play Blast Zone, right, what is he playing? Oko? Oro. Oro is fine. I don't care about Oro. I never care about Oro. Yeah, you gain, you gain life, draw cards, whatever. I mean, ramping is awkward because I want to ramp, but whatever. So I'm going to hold up. Oh, key. That's great. Oh, I mean, it's going to get counted. Alright. So I'm going to hold up Caracas here. So I can bounce his Euro so I don't get hurt so much. Thrawn Dynamo. And then next turn, play Ivogan. Is he going to force this? If he forces this, then I'm going to Ivogan next turn. I mean, yeah, I'm going to all this dust what next turn. Oh, it resolves. Fantastic, folks. Ivogan is going to come online very, very soon, folks. Yes. I've got Emrigal by deck as well, I think. Do I? Let me check. So I'll check the stream decker. I think I have Emrigal in here. No, oh, is it just Ulamog? No, it's Ulamog. Sorry, I have Ulamog in here. Uh, yeah, Ulamog. Ulamog's good. All right, we're gonna bounce this Urion. I don't care if he wants to draw extra cards. I guess we can't all his dust it, but whatever. He wants to, he's gonna cast it again. No, what is he doing? He's tapping all the manners. Shark Typhoon, sure. I guess I can exile that. So funny that he's casting a Shark Typhoon. Alright, I know he has a force of negation in his hand, because he put it back on top last turn. So, Ivogan here, which is big trouble for him. Shark Typhoon is kind of an issue. Wait, so we go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, we can Thrawn, we can Ivogan and, and, and hold up a Caracas now. Or I can just all his dust right now. If I all his dust, he'll probably force a negation it. So, I'm going to... Wait. I'm going to get Ulamog. I don't care. I'm just, we're going to get Ulamog. We're not going to cast the, the Khan here. Wow, we kept six land hand, folks. Six lands. Alright, Shark Typhoon gives me a bunch of sharks. I can always dust it. I'm fine with that. Four Alright, I know, I, know, I know he has Force. Negation. Yeah, attack before one. Sure, mate. Are you going to, uh, yeah, Yurion again? Please, Yurion. Because I can have better targets to hit. Is Yurion? Please, Yurion. Oko. I mean, sure. Oh, man. I mean, I can always dust that as well. Is he going to Oko the Thran? Creating a food token. Interesting. He just, he just wants to get aggro real fast. Uh, let's go grab Ulamog. We can eat the Shark Typhoon and the Oko. What's he like stifling us? What is he doing? He's probably looking at my deck list to see what I'm getting. Good Ulamog. I think we exile Shark Typhoon and Oko because I can all just dust the rest. Oh, we got a new gun. Okay, now we need. We definitely need to hit Oko. So. I also can hold up. No, I can't. I was gonna hold up Caracas, but I can't. I mean, he can't sword it anyway. That's Oko here. I mean, okay. Let's uh, hit Oko and hit Shark Typhoon because I hate the flyers, right? I don't want to keep making flyers. I can always dust everything later. We also have Ugin as a backup. We have so many board wipes. Right, he's gonna force it. That's fine. Makes another. S wow, he gets a 5 5 flyer. Wait, hold up. 8, 9? Okay. Not dead yet. Wow, he's making. Sna uh, oh, wow. I think I'm dead. That's gross. Well, I think I lose, folks. I think I lose to sharks. 
I'm losing to sharks, man. This is, this is enough, right? He pitched to Yuri on the force. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I think we die here. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, wait. We're in 10. We got a 1. Oh, we're not dead. We're not dead. He's got one card. He's recasting Urion. Yeah, I mean, Oro, sorry. Guys, we have a chance. I mean, he's still got one card in his hand, right? Alright, so I think I have to Ugin here. Alright, so he's just gonna throw stuff into the graveyard? Why did he brainstorm? The assert dominance? Thought not. Alright, I think we're just Ugin here. His last card is Force Negation. Interesting, okay. Six, seven. Oh, we, oh, we have eight. We can Ugin. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate that. Why did he throw away? He only has one card. Why would he throw away the Brainstorm? I think it was an accident. So we're gonna minus for three. I think was that an accident? His last cast. Yeah, he hasn't casted the force yet. You're right. You're right. You're right. That was an accident. I think that was an accident. He didn't notice the chalice. Right. He has no companion, which is great. I have an Ugin. I'm on one. I have a Khan and a Thought Knot. One card in hand. I don't think he plays Lightning Bolt. Let's yield here. Let's be nice. Just yield. Nope. I mean, if he, he can snap cast the end of turn, but I can. I'm gonna play a Thought Knot. <laughs> For Suva. Get a case of life. Great. <laughs> Alright, so let's bolt you. Ah, I should have waited on the bolt because if I play a Thought Knot and he like um, tries to uh, like snap something in response and I can bolt the snap. So that's another line you have to think about, there, folks. Oh, I also have the Thrun. I should <laughs> cast my Khan as well. Alright, I have a blocker. That's what he's got his hand. He's got a snake? Okay, snake's fine. See, this is why I'm saying I should have waited on the bolt. He's got a terminus. Interesting. Terminus was on top. Alright, well his snake goes back to the bottom. I don't care, I'm gonna cast a Khan. You draw an extra card. And then I look at your hand. <laughs> take the best card. Terminus, terminus. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll take a terminus. Alright, now I'm gonna get some value. Yeah, buddy. Let's get some threats. Uh, yeah, let's get threats. Oh, he has a terminus on top, so he's probably gonna bounce. I should have got to do card draw. I also have a defense grid in XR, oh, but it hasn't got a silver counter on it. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll do this. We'll just play a, a Khan token and then pass. A Khan struct, as they say. He's probably gonna hard cast terminus. He has one terminus in his hand. I thought I was dead. Yeah, he must have tucked it away. He had a break. No, he didn't brainstorm. I don't know. Maybe he played it. I don't know. I I don't know what happened there. To be honest. Um. All right, we'll play this. He did draw a card, so let's attack first. See if he snakes it. Attack first. All right. Hit you. Bolt you. I think we need to finish the game fast. So we're we're just gonna keep down ticking. Oh no, we'll uptick first. Well, it's in Ivugan end of step. We revealed sta uh, city and stage. <laughs> okay. Gives us a city. We already played a land. We'll pass. Ivugan end step. Oh, I could have Ivugan then, actually. We have so much mana. Sorry, right, we'll do it end step. We should get it. I want to get a thought knot here. So we could have thought knot it then. Back then. It's okay. 
wonder if he's got a snake here. He's still got that terminus in his hand. Let us let us have our turn, friend. Just wondering if you're thinking about snaking or not. Does he want a crack of food? Like, is he trying to waste time? I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, let's pass. Yep. Tabernacle. All right. I gotta stop tapping this stage because I should um. I should copy something. What's he doing? Force a will. Sure. <laughs> what do I? Haven and manifold key. <laughs> He's gonna give us the key, right? Sure. You're right. You're right. You're right. Good point. Good point. Uh, fair enough. Uh, all right. So Ugin can ultimate next turn. It's kind of nice. Um, actually, might tick up blast zone. All right, activate I again. I'm just gonna get unlimited thought knots for series. Got a hard cards. The oak. You're right. Oko's here. He's gonna elk. What's he elking? He's making a food. Oh, you're right. Oh. You're right, Crystal Red. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought I could have won this. Oh, I'm an idiot. I lost. You're right, Crystal Brand. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I could have won that. I was so greedy. Well, I know, I know, I know. That was my fault. That was my fault. My fault. I could have got Walking Blister as well, right? Ah, oh, that was my fault. Ah, oh, I feel tilted. So tilted. Okay, that's my fault. Yeah, live and learn. Live and learn. All right, all right. So let's um. Think about what we're doing here, folks. Uh, I'm such I'm such a silly person. I was hoping to get a Khan, that's why. Uh, what do we take out here? Guess we can take out one. Uh, Needle's good against all the Planeswalkers. Yeah, I gotta shake it off. You're right, you're right, you're right. My fault, my fault. I mean, I kept seven lands. A six land hand. That was pretty insane. Um... I need to take out one card. One card. We can win. We can win. I need. To, I have to determine to win. Right. That's the strongest thing we can do here. I brought in all this stuff to do with all his permanents. Right. This member kills Yurion and food. Don't really want to kill um, Snapcast or a snake with that. But what do we take out? Just one card. I think we're, like our whole deck is just really good against them. All right, I'm gonna take out one needle because we don't care too much about. We care about Oko, but we have three spy guards for that. We also can get it with Khan. Take out one needle because we want to prioritize chalicing for one, right? Oh man, I'm such an idiot. You're right. You're right. Ah, uh, unlucky, unlucky. All right, so it is what it is, mate. Thank you for reminding me, but that's probably why he countered the, the thought knot, right? Because he's worried me taking his Oko. Uh, also, he was worried that I could um, block. There was also a turn where I could have. Activated I and cast the thought not in the same turn. I just didn't. Alright, that's okay. Okay, we'll get there. I have to play first, yeah. So let's just get Cloud Pose and destroy him. Oh, him and them. Destroy, destroy them, sorry. Cut a shoom.
Get this, get this, let's do this, let's do this! Alright, opponent, come on, what are you doing, buddy? You have 15 minutes left. I oh, so do, so do I. Yeah, keeping this. <laughs> Chalice, Voktenki, Cloudpost, this is good. Yes, I need more threats. Unfortunately, Tabernacle does not work against Elks. Positive vibes, man. That's it, positive vibes, right? Alright, this is good. We have lots of things to do here. Question is, do I cloud post first? No, I think I have a take key first. Because I'm going to play Chalice as a follow-up. Oh, I could also got a Chalice turn 1. That could have been a line there as well. I want to get rid of the key, but like I want to play out the key. Because I don't think he'll count on Mana Rocks. And Mana Rocks just make my deck insane against him. Also, can just play out a Blast Zone to play the Chalice on 2. The Chalice on 1. I think he's going to cantrip here, so maybe I should have played out the Chalice. Yeah, Abundant Growth. That's fine. Gives him the mana. I can Blast Zone everything anyway. Ugin. Ugin's great. Alright. Also, could have played a line here where I would... Uh, Tomb, turn one, and then into Chalice. Let's see if he counters this. Counter, 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 counter. At least we have a line here. We have a win to pay off, which is kind of nice. If he counters this, then our Ugin's probably going to have a high chance of ca getting resolved. Alright, he's countering this. That's fine. Let's see what he exiles. Ponder, sure. So we can play a Cloud Post next turn and then use Testament Stage. No, we don't. We can't, actually. I thought about we using Stage to copy it, but we can't. Okay. Still can play the Cloud Post anyway. Yeah, the better line would probably have been like turn one Chalice. Snake. Meddling Mage. What is he going to name? Khan the Great Creator? Everyone always names Khan the Great Creator. Because they're worrying about losing on turn 3 or whatever. He doesn't see my hand, so let's see what he does. Look at the Spirit Dragon. All he does, like, what? Is he look he's looking my life. Thought not see it. Okay, <laughs> that's relevant. Everyone's always scared of the, uh, of the dogs. Alright, so that's good. That kills that. Um, I guess we'll just play Cloud Post here. We'll walk our way up. Yeah, I just want to walk my way out, cast the Zugan, make some dorks. Attack for two, sure. Snake, Sylvan Library, alright, that's good. Buried Ruins, oh, Buried Ruins gets back my chalice, by the way, folks. That's a really good reason why, I, the whole entire reason why I play it. So, we can actually activate stage here, so we're going to work our way up. Not too much pressure at the moment. He gets the library, which he probably draw. It pays a million life. Yeah, it would be super great at the moment. You're right, you're right. So what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to activate the stage, copy cloud post. I mean, I don't know if he has Dampening Sphere. Let's look at his side. I probably should look at his sideboard. No Dampening Sphere in the sideboard. There's Blood Moon, but Blood Moon is very scary. Attack me for two, sure. I want all his dots or an Ugin or something. I have two Ugins in my deck, so... Blood Moon? No, no Blood Moon. Oko! He wants to Elk me? He can Elk me. I don't care. Make a food? Make a food. That's fine. I'm going to go over the top, friend. Over the top. Just let me do this. Let me do this. Heal, please. <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for. 
Oh, global post. That's great. All the manners. So, tons and tons of mana. I can try to Ugin now and kill his Oko. Oh, it resolves! Oh, fantastic. Alright, so... In that case, I'm going to kill Oko. And then I'm going to... Cast a Walking Ballista for two. Because Ugin makes everything cheaper. I also can Buried Ruins and then Chalice for one. But then o Ugin will die. So... Let's cast a Walking Ballista for two. Because Ugin will make it cheaper. Yes. I also can eventually kill the Meddling Mage if I want to shoot it. But right now I'm going to keep it there because I have so much mana. Gloomer Post. So good. So good. Blast Zone can eventually blow up his Silver Larry. Oh, I mean I can shoot. No, I can blow it up. I can blow it up. I, I don't have any two drops. So I can blow up his Silver Larry. He's, he's on 10 life. He took 4 life I think. Oh, maybe he might have taken 8. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's taken another 4 life. Sure. <laughs> I actually don't even care about the Meddling Mage here. I don't have to not to my hand. Is he attacking Ugin? Is he gonna attack Ugin? Oh wow. Um Blocking? Is fine, right? Yeah, I'm gonna block. I was gonna say, like, is there a way should I shoot? Any difference? I'm just gonna block and then let it go. I have every right to block this America. Alright, cool. <laughs> I blocked him. Yeah, we 100% need to keep it. Or you can cut all the Uros you want in your life, mate. I don't care. Yeah, we just need it's it's an insane card engine. Have to keep it. I can also get back the chalice now. Or the walking ballista. For that sake. Oh Mystic Forge. Oh wait. Guys, we we have enabled Splitter Twin. <laughs> it's insane, right? You watch this, watch this, ready? I cast this and it's just bonkers. My whole deck gets folded in half. I think he would counter this. Counter spell? That's fine. Let's get it back with Buried Ruins. <laughs> it's just like, what? No. No. <laughs> and then cast it again. <laughs> He's like, no. I don't have all the counter spells. Has <laughs> he got another counter spell? Thought not. Oh, look, what a coincidence. I thought not. Look, our whole deck has been folded in half. <laughs> Let's see what you got, friend. See what you got. And a chalice. Oh uh, guys, this is this is exactly what we wanted. Snapcaster. That's oh man. Um Snapcaster, Oro. I don't care about Oro, I guess. Ice Fang. Do I care about Snapcaster? He gets to re flashback counter spell? But he doesn't have any mana up. Hmm. I'm actually gonna take the Ice Fang because he can Bounce everything with Oro. Alright, let's cast... <laughs> let's just just keep casting off the top, folks. And a Dismember next turn. Not too bad. Uh, we can play a Tomb. Oh, we can... We, we, we can Dismember? Yeah, we'll keep the Dismember, because he might cast Oro. I mean, not Oro, uh, Yurion. Haha, <laughs> Ugin. Oh wait, Ugin has revealed a Ugin. So good. So okay, so what I could have done here is I could have Mystic Forge and like untapped and untapped and kept going. I really need to beat this deck. I'm like so determined to beat this deck. Because the last round, I should have won last game, man. Alright, awesome. Alright, he's going to recast the Oro here. I mean, cast the Oro from the graveyard, that makes sense. I'm gonna dismember it. Yeah, that makes sense. He doesn't know I have a dismember on top. He's got no graveyard. I mean, he can crack us that if he wants. Grim model lift. Let's cast that for free. Oh, Thrun Dynamo. Here we go, folks. Thrun Dynamo off the top. Wow, so much value. Alright, let's plus this. Get the city off the top. Vesuva, let's exile that. Another Vesuva. Let's untap the key. I mean, Mystic Forge. Exile that. Another Vesuva. Stop it with the Vesuvas! 
All right. Um. So I actually can attack here. I can actually attack here and then dismember his Oro, and then he's just gonna Karakas it back. I think I keep the Oro for Yurion. I really want to destroy that Sylvan Library, so let's attack with the token here. Actually, do I attack the token? Yeah, let's. I, I, he doesn't, I don't know if he's got a counter spell, but let's, begin, beginning of combat. I don't like attacking. Okay, we'll wait. You're right, you're right. Well, this way. We have time, we have time. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I, there's no value there. I just really want to destroy this silver library. So I think I have to tick up this blast zone. What do I have on two? The only thing I have on two is grim monoliths, which I don't mind. I really want to destroy this library, man. So only thing getting him back into it. Alright, he's gonna cast Urion. Blood Moon. Okay. I can destroy that with Ugin. That's fine. I thought about t activating then, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. Asian Tomb. We do, we do need to get the library off the field. You're right. Casting Cataracts. Alright, so... Untap this. That's true. I wonder if I blow up the Blood Moon now. Well, you can't bounce it, so let's attack. Attack, attack. I'm gonna dismember this. This looks, this looks like a desperation attack, right? I'm gonna I'm taking a lot of life here, folks. This looks like a desperation attack, but I'm gonna do this. I don't know why I tapped my monolith then. I wonder if I blow up the Blood Moon here. Actually, I don't even care about the Blood Moon, do I? I don't really have anything to play. No. Oh, I should've blown up the library. Oh, we're, we're on the beat down plan now. Oh, I've got a bridge on top. There you go. Oh, no, no, we don't want a bridge. No, I don't want a bridge. Um, I'm just thinking of like... No, we want a beat down. Snapcaster, okay, sure. No value. You're on coverage. Alright, he wants to attack? Sure, I'll block my token. I think he wants a beatdown now. Oh. Yeah, we don't mind the moon at the moment. What do you mean you're on coverage? You wouldn't mind the moon at the moment. Yeah, it's fine. Also, I can tap my tabernacle. What's he doing? Councils? No. A oh, Urion. He's casting Urion. Blinking stuff. He wants to. Okay. Okay. He wants to beat me down. That's fine. He's got to bounce abundant growth. Oh, I'm on coverage. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't know what you meant. I'm playing Ugin. <laughs> I could just. Oh, feature match. Awesome. I didn't know that. Thanks, guys. Are you, okay, he wants to draw a card. I really need to get rid of this library. Oh, I should untap the Grim Monolith. My bad. Alright, Tomb? Mm. Do I just like... Yeah, I just kill Yurion right here, right? Kill Yurion. Attack with everything. I'm fine with that. In with the boys! In with the boys! In with the boys! Alright, he's gonna draw a card? Good for you, buddy. I don't care about order. Two snappies are dead. Draw a card, friend. 
All right, I'm gonna exile this. I don't know if he's an aggro deck, but uh, Ugin, hello. One, two, three, four, a million mana. Ugin. Uh, I should have tapped my tabernacle just to like. Oh, it's even cheaper. I forgot about that. Force an engagement. That's a good. That's a good idea. Let me see your secrets, friend. Let me see your secrets. Plow. Uh, let's name Oko. Cause I hate that card. Another one. Storm. We're going off. Crack the food. I mean, sure. I can't even name food to be honest. Uh, let's name it to Fairy. Uh, what's it called? Time Reveler. Yeah. Where's my key? All this dust. Seems good. We'll pass. Oh wait. I have a, I don't have a matter, enough mana, do I? One, two, three, four, five? No, we don't have enough. Six? One, two, three, four, five, six? No, we don't have enough. I really want him to get rid of the library, that's why. Um okay, we'll pass. That library is really annoying. The good old Tabernacle Mountain that costs 1500 bucks. Alright. I knew he has swords. Okay, sure. Asserting authority, I see. What's he doing? Oh, he's, he's casting Oro. Gotcha. That's fine, friend. You got it. You can get some life. I don't got all his dust, everything. Alright, all the yields. Oh, Ulamog! Oh, dude, should I? Yeah, I'm good. No, I, no, I just, I want to do it. <laughs> I have like a million mana. My storm count apparently is on one. Triggers. <laughs> Alright. Scoop? No Scooby? Scoop? Alright. I thought it was going to scoop. It's going to resolve. Cast my thing. Why do I play Yurion? Why? <laughs> no, there's, there's no reason, dude. <laughs> there's no reason. It's so I can blink my Grim Monoliths. No, <laughs> there's no reason. There's no reason why I'm playing Yurion, man. Alright, what's six minutes left to win? Uh, let's swing it back. I'm done with this. This is fine. <laughs> Alright, so I only have a way to cast it is Cascading Cataracts and if I pursue my people's land or stages people's land, there's no reason. I just wanted to play all my favorite cards in the deck and I was like, oh, what's what you're on there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be super serious now, man, just because that game one, I lost because of my own misplay. Like, if he, obviously he, you know, he casted the, the, the Oko to win and like he was basically dead, but I didn't, I could have just made a token and won. Oh, that was my own fault, folks. That was my own fault. I'm trying to make up for my loss there. Pog, Pog, Pog. All right, I hope I win, man. Hope I'm gonna get three O. Good old, good old three O's. All right, you know, good old. Let's get some Mystic Forge value. Dab, 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 dab. Um, but yeah, I, gl I love how we're like. I'm a Yuri on deck. I have three Yuri on decks. I've Snow Snowco two times. It is what it is, man. <laughs> let's do it folks let's do it let's do it all right reveal yuri on for no reason <laughs> um no nah, we need cloud posts i don't think this is a good hand i mean if we drew some lands it'd be great i'm gonna mulligan this we need cloud posts cloud posts are super important yes this is amazing oh wow Folks, folks, snap keeping this hand. Give me some hype in the chat, man. I can, I can cast Yurion. I can cast it with um, Cascading Cataracts. Um, keep this. I used to have Covenant Jewels in the deck. Don't laugh at me, but I did. Um, I think here, actually, I just bottomed the Thrawn Dynamo. Because I have two mana rocks. Khan's great here. Uh, we're going big, folks. We got turn one cloud post, turn two Vesuvia the cloud post, and then defense grid. Slamming that defense grid. 
hype could be the hype thank you crystal brandon you've been amazing amazing support i appreciate you chatting and 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 just you know hanging out here in the in the stream here it's amazing oh, we're so slamming this cloud post so fast yield we got six minutes left on the clock so we end up 15 minutes right so we need to play a little fast all right he's passing all right so if he counters this defense crew which i oh wow so much assault um droids are powerful if he counters this i'm fine because it clears the way for khan right snake snake we see a snake coming snake snakes are here he's down why well, he mulled he might have mulled because like all right defense grid is here okay so i i like i like playing thought not here to clear the way no wait you don't need to clear the way we have defense grid Back to basics. No, Oko. Oko the defense grid? No, making it food. Wow. <laughs> he wants a lot of value here. Like, I mean, defense grid. Sure, man. Alright, so... Think about the mouse here. We have so much mana. <laughs> we sort of just... Yeah, we dodged the moon, which is true. Um, okay, so if I play this... Play this... And then how much do I have? I have four. I have three mana, so I can play Trinosphere. I can also play. I can play Bridge. But he's got an Oko. No, I play Spyglass. That's it. Yeah, but I got Grim Monolith now. Spyglass to Oko. Teferi. Oh, Teferi's there. And Shark Typhoon. That's the thing that killed me last time. Alright, so we have a million mana. And he's got a Teferi, which is fine. We have we, we played Defense Grid, so we don't want anyone playing spells at instant speed anyway. So play a Teferi, bounce the Spyglass, I guess. Or oh, bounce the defense grid? What's he doing? We saw his hand, right? So we know Teferi's gone. He's bouncing the spyglass. That makes sense. So you're gonna Oko and food? Then I just get Lattice, right? I can play Thought Knot as well. I have a million mana. And he can't counter it because I have defense grid up. Oh, he's attacking Khan. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Mystic Forge. Alright, that's great. Alright, so you can't defense grid this. So let's, uh... I was thinking... Yeah, let's pass Mystic Forge first. Because we might get a new gun or something. Ah, oh, it's just a spyglass. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll cast this. We have six mana, so we can do a little bit here. Alright, so... Force of Will, Shark Typhoon, and Astrolabe. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so... Let's... Name Oko here again. No, wrong one. Thief of Crowns, right? And then we play. Thought not. Oh, we should exile the top. Take your. Shark Typhoon, because I hate that card. Oh, we named Oko there. Let's exile the top anyway. No, no, don't go back. <laughs> uh, name that. Uh, there's a Caracas there. Name Teferi. Time Raveler. Wow, all the spy glasses in the world. Wish the foods were legendary. It doesn't make sense, but yeah, I just wish it was. <laughs> Alright, so, wow, we've got a million cards here. So, I guess you can Yuri on here. But I don't know what the Yurion does here. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Demonizen. If you guys like my content, please feel free to follow. I play every Saturday from 2 to 7. Are you going to redraw? Yep. So we have three minutes left. We have three minutes left. Three minutes left. Thank you for the follow, Timura. 
Uh, sorry, I can't. I have to focus now because I've got three minutes left and I lose. Caracas, Thron Dynamo. Let's just cast it. Blast zones. Let's exile that. Haven. A million. He's gonna cast Uriel now. Draw two cards. He also can blink to fairy if he wants. He's trying to beat me on time. Yeah, he's trying to beat me on time. Why can't I cast it for more? It's weird. I try to cast it for more spells and it wouldn't let me.
I win. Oh, thank God. Thank God, folks. Oh, mate. I was just, I was like under pressure. I was like 30 seconds left, right? Oh. Oh, so tired.